Welcome to the first episode of The Grinder Diaries, hosted by Pedro Mendez, which is me. Um, Grinder is a app on, um, it's on the Apple Store, it's on Androids, um, it's on Blackberry, for pretty much men who are gay, bi curious, um, and that kind of stuff, who want to meet or talk to or all that jazz with other people that are like them. Um, there are different categories of things that you're looking for. Um, friends, dates, um, networking, chat, or relationship. Um, so I have learned over the last few weeks of me attempting to use Grindr that if a guy says chat or networking or friends that they're going to be boring. Um, people who say date but don't have long-term relationship or relationship in their like description are pretty much losers. And the reason why is when you don't have relationship in your grinder status, it basically means that you can't commit, you're incapable, and that's an automatic turn off. So I just don't even message those kinds of people. Um, as far as people who are looking for friends, I don't know why you're looking for friends on Grindr. Um, as far as for people who are in committed relationships or partnered on Grindr, Clearly, you're a cheating ass bitch. Because why are you going on, like, Grindr to meet friends? Like, in my mind, that sounds really fishy and not, like, fishy drag. Like, just something's up. That's weird. So automatically, I'm like, I'm not talking to them because they are cheaters. Um, so this topic in the Grinder Diaries is pretty much going to be old men. Old men on Grinder. that is the topic for my first Grinder Diaries. Um, old men are the nicest because they're creepy. They, they want to hook up, they want to be sugar daddies, very rarely, because we all know people are cheap. Um, and it, it grosses me out. I don't like when old people talk to me. Um, there are guys that are older than my dad that talk to me. There's a guy that's 53 that tries to talk to me. Um, and when it says in their, um, their about me section on Grindr that they're looking for fun, that basically means that they want to fuck the shit out of you. Um, sorry guys. That's not gonna happen. Um, I think on my grinder it says that I'm looking for just for dates and relationship, which, honey, I'm not naive. I know I'm not gonna find that shit on grinder, but of cur of curious of curious curiosity killed the cat. Me being the cat, it's probably gonna kill me. So I do use Grinder, regretfully, begrudgingly. Um, I don't message people first because I have no interest in doing that. I think, I think I'm doing it more of like a scientist where it's kind of like research. Um, but yeah, so something creepy, creepy, creepy about Grinder that I've noticed a lot of old men do. Um, in the settings, you can. Um, set it up so you only see people under a certain age limit. Um, and for mine I chose like 26 or something. And old men are fucking smart because these creepy old pedophiles, they don't put an age on their profile. So they will show up even if you have an age limit. So pedophiles find a way, find a way around everything. Um, except the block button. So click that little X and you do your thing because they're creepy as hell. 
So, old men on Grinder, they are kind of boring because they're like, oh, I've been working. And I'm like, I don't care if you've been working. I'm sorry. Like, why are you talking to me? You're clearly a pedophile. Um, I know that it says 18 on my profile, but as soon as I talk to someone, I tell them I'm 17 because I'm, I don't care. Like, you have to be 17 to download the app, but 18 to use it? That's dumb. But nevertheless, old men on Grinder are creepy motherfuckers. Like, especially the old men that think that they are allowed to do the whole lift up my shirt, look at my abs kind of thing. Um, that's clearly for immature 20 year olds and teenagers. So if you're, if you have a beer belly and you're hairy as hell and you go like that in your video or in your picture, that's creepy. I'm gonna keep scrolling because that's gross. Um, old men, old men. I don't ever want to be an old man. I think that I'm going to be transgender when I am 60. That way I never have to be an old man. Clearly a joke, but old men creep me out. Um, yeah, so old men on Grinder need to just go play golf. Um, go play shuffleboard. Go watch reruns of MASH um, and Matlock. And stay away from people that could be their son or daughter. Well, son. Ew. Um. Ew. Ugh. I get grossed out when I talk about these old men because they're old and they're men and they're pedos. So, Pedro don't want a pedo. Okay. <laughs> I'm so stupid. Um. So I guess that's all I really have to say about the creepy old men on Grinder. They find a way around the age restriction, which is creepy. They message you and ask weird things, which is creepy. Um, ugh, old men on Grinder. That's not fun at all. So I don't know why I even use Grinder anymore. I would love to say that I'm not going to use it, but I will. So, I hope you like this first episode of The Grinder Diaries. Hopefully next time is going to be more entertaining and I will talk about a specific person on Grinder and all of the weird names that people decide to put on Grindr. Um, but thank you for watching. I will talk to you guys next time and I hope you favorite, like, thumbs up, subscribe, and send me a comment video response if you want and tell me about your, um, your interactions on Grindr, your, your history with Grindr or whatever. Whatever. So I will hopefully have more videos for you guys very soon. I'm sorry that I've been lacking in the department of videos. Um, check out Queens of the Week. Check out me, check me out on Facebook and all that stuff and Twitter and Tumblr and all that weird, 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 weird shit. Um, I hope you guys have a lovely, fantastic, amazing, trannylicious day. And I will see you guys next time.